Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave, and today we're going to do something a little different. I thought I'd, um, I, I uh, wanted to sh do a comparison, um, and the comparison is going to be the, this is for Sherman Leader, and there's other ones out there, but uh, we're going to compare the mounted game board and the, and the card stock component with a vinyl game mat that I bought from DVG. So I wanted to see one what the difference was and two to see if it helps me because I'm sure a lot of people do it. I bump my board and stuff in it and things because the surface is slick, right? And so you know you bump it or the card stock's got that little crease in it or it um you know I bump it, I have it under the edge of the board right here to kind of help hold it down. But sometimes I'll bump the board and it won't be straight anymore. I'm kind of fidgety like that. And then with the game tiles, when you put them on the on the game board, you know, they tend to, they're slick. So, you know, you can see they really move easy. You know, again, if you bump the board, you know, it separates them, causes gaps, all those things. So I wanted to try, see what the what the game mat looks like. And then see how it holds, if it holds any better or not, before I purchase any other ones. I do have a vinyl game mat for another game that I play. Um, it's a Silent Victory from GMT, the Submarine Warfare that I had made. So I, I got it from Board Game Geek and actually had to send the PDF file off and actually had it made. Hard little sucker to get out of there. There we go. So there's the mat. And as you can see, it's in a, it's nicely rolled up uh, in a plastic bag. So let's open the bag. And the other thing I'm curious is, you know, is it the same size as the game board? So we're going to lay this down right on top of the game board and, we, and, and get a look at it. So there I am, see, already bumping everything around. So here we go. Here's the game map. And the footprint is actually, aha. Uh -huh. So that's what I was curious about. It does not cover the cardboard. It is almost the same size as the uh, mounted. In fact, it is the same size once it flattens out. Um, same size as the game board. So it did not include the cardboard or the that, that section there. I was kind of hoping it did. But it didn't and that's okay uh, so everything else is the same it doesn't have that shiny um, glare to it so let's see how the how the um, counters lay down here the tiles I'll leave this out for a day or so and hopefully it'll flatten out real nice but there it is not quite as slick. Oh, I have two pieces there. Uh, not quite as slick as the mounted board was. You know, it's still nice and smooth. It looks like once I get everything situated here, it's a little bit, maybe just a touch smaller than the mounted board because um, they have this edge running around for the border. But other than that, um, it looks good. I'm going to do a playthrough on this mat. We'll see how everything works. So I'm going to let, like I said, I'm going to leave it out. I'll probably put the game board on top of it and see if it'll flatten out. So, you know, it's kind of a matter of taste. The nice thing is this board, I can use it for my Tiger Leader. And with Tiger Leader, with the upgrade kit, you have a cutout piece over here for this section. I guess I should show you with where I'm pointing over here this section here with the enemy tactical movement uh, is a upgrade part of the upgrade kit if you have the original tiger leader and uh, it's a piece that I'm constantly hitting so I can use this same piece I'll double check it but I can use it for tiger leader also that'll be nice too so we're giving it a try and we're going to see how we, uh, how we like it and so it was just a quick video kind of show you this is what their vinyl mats look like it's uh 
take this up here and we'll do real quick what's on the back side so as expected you know it's a grippy surface so it won't slide around on your table we're going to give it a go see how it works out i'm going to let it flatten out for a day or so and then we're going to give a playthrough for sherman leader and we'll do it here on this mat and see how everybody likes it but i wanted to give you a, i know some people might be curious you know um, they sell some of their other games that have the vinyl mat so if it turns out something you like or something you'd be interested in, I think I paid $29 for it uh, plus shipping. So, you know, not a bad price and we'll see how it plays. Okay, so thanks for joining me. This was short and sweet, which is sometimes the best. <laughs> and then I'll see you guys uh, when we do a playthrough. So as always, uh, please subscribe if you like the channel and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I'll see you guys at the playthrough. Thanks.